my head hurts. Good morning, everyone. It is, what time is it? It's 7 a.m. Mm. I had a horrible dream that I tried using a new skincare product for a photo shoot and then my skin started like not just breaking out but my skin was like burnt so today we're just sticking to the things that we know we like the road milk is a classic one for me for serum this one you guys have seen it multiple times on my videos now skincare is obviously really important before a photo shoot but i've also been trying to get into like eye care i don't know if that's what they call it but taking care of how my eyes look and making sure they're well rusted i have really dry and sensitive eyes genetically and when they're irritated you can definitely see it and i realize that that gets caught in mm. photos and it's not cute so i'm trying to see what i can do to make them look clearer and whider and more well rested and attempt to cure my dry eyes i've been trying this which is eye patch that can be heated up in the microwave the way it works it's supposed to melt like the oil the natural oil in your eyes so it makes your eyes less dry it feels really good and relaxing at night so i did this last night wait why does that feel so good So I'm having to get dressed for the shoot, but also I have a dinner and this event that I'm going to afterwards for freeze week, fries week, which is honestly my most stressful situation because you guys know I don't like having to pack ahead. I don't know what I'm feeling. It's like an art event, so I feel the need to show up and dress up. This is actually a skirt. But I'll take this, and just to be safe, I'll take another black top. I'm also gonna take some makeup so I can redo my makeup. How is everyone doing? I am so excited to be vlogging this week because I have a lot of things that are new that I want to share with you guys and I'll share them throughout the vlog besides from that I'm also doing fun things with my friends this week so visually too you guys should be entertained heading into the Nike studio again today Nike is single-handedly keeping me hired and working which is great I love working for them today I think we're doing some swimwear which is so fun and if you guys watch my new year's resolutions video one of my goals is to be able to do swimwear because to me being in swimwear and being photographed is scary and i want to get over that and i want to get good at it and i want to look back on it and feel proud of it it's a whole set package that needs to happen so we'll see what i have to shoot today oh my flyers are open it's lunchtime. i feel so good right now because it's so cold in there and my car is not as cold so i feel like i'm finally reaching a temperature where my body's happy at got lunch it's a really busy day at the set today i have like 24 looks to shoot which is a lot and we've been jumping all across categories from golf to skateboarding to soccer to lounge to i think we have swim at the end also have to shoot for a swim cap please don't go look for that i beg you because i know i won't be looking good I just ended and I end this so much later than I thought It's 5.40 right now and I have to go to dinner and I don't have time to do my makeup or like anything because I brought all these things so I can wash my face and do my makeup I just erased like the really caked up concealer on my chin right here and I put some of this on I'll do some concealer Oh my god, of course. And then I bring the puff. Modify the face a little bit. Oh 
I'm finally home. It's actually not that late. I don't know why it feels like it should be like 1 a.m. It's not even 11 yet. The current state that I'm in right now is ridiculous. I am not lying one bit when I tell you I have about 15 layers of concealer because I just keep reapplying throughout the shoot and like 50 layers of hairspray in my hair. After dinner, we ended up going to an event at New House in celebration of Freeze Art Week here in Los Angeles. So I just met some people, was hanging out with my friend, and now I'm home. I like using detox shampoos to really get everything out. This is a sample size that I received from Way. It's not a sample size, it's like a travel size. And then this is Living Proof Detox Shampoo. I think this washes out my hair better, but this feels like healthier for my hair because it just feels too strong almost. But they're both really good. Today, I'll probably use this because I need the extra strength. My hair is insane because after I took my shower yesterday, I basically just passed out. Today's the first day of March and I wanted to start the day off by doing some morning journaling. I was scrolling on TikTok after waking up and I found Melissa's journal prompts for the month, for month of March. And I saved it because I think I'm going to follow along and hold myself accountable for doing those topics every day. Um, even if it's not for March and even if you don't follow the days correctly, you can just be inspired by the topics that she has on there. And then what I always do is after writing about the topic, I'll also go on with whatever is just in my mind, whatever I need to get out of my chest. And that's a great way to spend like 10 minutes in the morning just to get everything out of your head and to know the intention for the day. Actually, today's topic is... March intentions. My camera died while I was journaling, but I finished my prompt for the day. It was really refreshing because I think we all think about our intentions for the new year. And now that it's March, I think it's time for a little checkup to see how we're doing, if anything changed. I brought some leftovers from yesterday and it's like fish, fried plantain, and rice. So I heat all of them up and I'm planning on wrapping them into seaweed and dipping it into the sauce they gave me. Doesn't that sound kind of good? Okay, seaweed, rice, kompachi. And then we're gonna dip it into this red sauce. That's good. I love bringing home leftovers and giving it a second life, even though this isn't that creative of a meal. It makes me feel like a chef. It makes me feel like I'm on one of those shows. I have a series of thought that I've been thinking about a lot and I wanted to share with you. So I wrote them down on my notes last night because I was too tired to like turn on the camera and talk. So here's the thing. I think it's such a blessing to have cravings. You wake up in the morning and you have something you want to do. You have food that you want to eat. You have people that you want to meet. You have a song that you really want to listen to. Like those cravings are what keeps us happy. And my conclusion to this thought was that you need to experience life and you need to seek to experience life, to develop a taste for different types of things and therefore have cravings. I think it has to do with knowing exactly what you like and don't like and your body being able to tell you what you want in certain situations from past experiences. I'm an introverted person and I get easily discouraged by negative social interactions and after that, I'll kind of like lock myself in my room, not literally, but I'll refuse to go out in big social settings and that's when I start to think that life is so lame and everything's boring, everyone's boring but in reality, the only thing lame there is my pessimistic mindset and I'm getting myself out there more, socializing with people more even if it means there might be small moments of like negative interactions I'm going through a season of lots of opportunities and experiences and because recently I was thinking about how like you need to experience a lot of things to have cravings and cravings what really keep me happy I think I'm able to be more grateful and happy to be experiencing all of the opportunities and experiences I want to say that I forgot how fun it is to meet people, socialize, and do things but I don't think I can say that I forgot because I don't think I've ever experienced this I think it was really easy for me to blame myself for not being able to have fun with life and with people but looking back on it, I think it just wasn't the right time I'm 22 and I'm just now feeling this and getting to experience this for the first time 
some of you might think 22 is really young some of you might think that it's not so much but if you're my age or older but have never felt this way i want to assure you that it's coming i'm so confident that it's coming for you and it's nothing to be discouraged because yes of course i know like experiencing life is good for you but it's something that you can't necessarily force it upon yourself everything is working out for you right now and it will continue to i hope everything i spilled out made sense i haven't really bonded over this topic with anyone else so feel free to leave your own experiences and thoughts in the comments below i would love to read about it i'm editing my vlog from when chemi was here and i was at a scene where we're eating the lobster roll and the taco Chemin's lobster roll bread the buttery shiny bread looked so appetizing that I just made myself a butter toast on milk toast, milk bread I'm also frying an egg and this is my lunch it's a very late lunch actually it's 3pm but I'm also gonna start prepping for dinner soon so I'm just gonna eat a light meal I'm thinking I want to try making the Din Tai Fung cucumber salad at home I don't even like cucumbers but the Din Tai Fung cucumber salad I go crazy for I don't know what it is mm. I talked about how I want to start writing down the recipes that I try so I have a log of everything and if I don't know what to eat if I don't know what to cook, I'll just flip through and be like, okay, I'm gonna make this and I don't have to go through the hassle of like looking for a video and watching everything and like screenshotting We're adding a new one today Cucumber salad Stop spending $8 on the Din Tai Fung cucumber salad when you can make it at home for a fraction of the cost All dressed up on a Friday night so we can come to the Stone Island exhibition they're doing. Oh my god. Oh. I did not know they had that in LA. We had to park really far because they didn't have a lot of parking there. I think they just have a bunch of like archived looks from Stone Island. I think they have a gift shop. I think they'll have alcohol. I don't know. For breakfast today, I think I'm gonna make a smoothie. After the exhibition yesterday, we ended up going out to this rooftop party that my friend was a part of. We were so cold because it was a rooftop party, but I forgot it was a rooftop party, so I wasn't dressed appropriately. I would have literally worn a fur jacket if I remember that because it was raining last night, like kind of. When I got home, I was so cold that I just made myself a whole ramen and I also added rice to that. So my stomach right now is, I digested it, but like my stomach still feels hot. So we're gonna make a smoothie to kind of cool that down and soothe my stomach. I add greens powder to all of my smoothies or overnight oats so I can get a serving of vegetables in a little scoop of vanilla protein vanilla greek yogurt very good i think it's gonna be raining all day today it started raining last night and then it's been continuously raining oh actually it's gonna stop raining in like an hour Recently, I've been really into rain. Whenever it rains, like I just love opening my windows and letting the rain sounds come into my house and the rain smell and the cold wind into my house. It just feels so good. And also, I don't know what it is, but my eyes, I've mentioned this, my eyes have been like extra sensitive to light. So when it's really, really sunny, I feel like my energy is getting drained out faster so when it's raining, it's not as bright, it's gloomy it's a little darker, mellow, comfortable on my eyes so I feel like I, I've been thriving more which is pretty rare for me because I thrive in the sun normally oh I actually have a package to unbox one exciting news 
I booked the job for modeling where I have to dance on set and I've been going to ballet classes recently just to just for fun but because I booked this job I've been going more often trying to brush up on my skills and making sure that I'm ready for this shoot my agent told me that I needed to order my point shoes ASAP so I can have it in time for this shoot which is in two days and I ordered it and I knew it would come before the shoot but I realized that it wouldn't come early enough for me to practice being on point because I haven't been on point in so long and I knew I needed to practice while this one was being shipped to me I went into a local dance store and I just picked up a pair <laughs> this experience was great because I was actually able to get fitted and they were able to find the perfect shoe for me and I was able to try them on versus this one, I was just I was just guessing. As soon as I heard the news that I would be going on point, I had my dad ship me my old point shoes from home because I had forgotten like what model, what size, and like the details of the point shoe. So this is my old pair. I was able to check like what size and all that. But these are too old. I can't wear them for the shoe because I have to look brand new. I knew that I wanted to get a pair of the same ones because I really like those. And then I realized that the Grishko brand like rebranded and they have new lines of point shoes. And the this one is like not even sold anymore. So I had to look for alternatives. I thought this would be a great pair which is called a Nova. But I think for the shoe, I'm gonna end up wearing this one because I got fitted for these and they're so easy to go on point. They're like more geared towards beginners but I am curious about this one so let's try them on now I have three pairs of point shoes Ooh, I don't know if I like these I'm really glad that I got fitted because the Grishkos they're really great for my feet and I really like them but they look better long run like the more you wear them and the stronger your feet are, they look great. But the first few times, they don't look so great. These ones are from Block, and these shoes are specifically known to look good even like on the first few days. They probably won't last as long because they are they get worn in easily. It is Saturday, but I've just been working all morning. I've been slacking on my editing game. You guys can probably tell. So I've been editing all morning. I ordered myself a sandwich from this place that I've been wanting to try for a long time. It's called, I don't even know how to say it. It's with two G's, Giotta. It's like an Italian deli. They do a lot of sandwiches. And this is their most popular sandwich. Chicken katsu with spicy vodka sauce. I'm just going to enjoy my lunch. I'm going to Tokyo and Korea soon. So I've been binge watching a lot of vlogs just to get an idea of like what I want to do and taking notes So I'm gonna watch a Tokyo vlog Like my explore page on YouTube is all Tokyo So I've never been to Japan so I need to do my research Mmm I've been really obsessed with stick blushes and cream blushes in general So I just take whatever I use on my cheeks and I also use it on my eyes And I find that this is the perfect way to add some color into my eyes I don't have to do anything else because I don't like spending too much time on my eye makeup These days I've been spending extra effort on the eyes with eyelashes But even that doesn't take that long But I realized that using pink on your eyes actually is not as scary as you think Especially when you just use it at the outer corner of your eyes, which is what I do And it also makes everything cohesive It's the outfit of the day. I'm going to a gallery that I've been wanting to go to with my friend So this is the fit. We're dressed up a little bit Thinking about doing this trench coat my friend Jade and I have been talking about this exhibition since January but we were like, uh, we don't have to plan it right now because we have two more months. Time flew by and it was already the last weekend of the exhibition so we had to arrange a little play date to go visit. We also went to a cafe that's located inside of a barber shop which was such a fun experience and then I headed to my next destination. Got gifts and we got Swedish candy. Oh wait, we have to explain that this is our late Galentine's. Okay. It's March 2nd, y'all. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Okay, let's open this. Oh. Is this the glitter highlighter? It is, and I thought it'd be Dude, so perfect for your so nose. 
<gasps> I immediately bought it. And for you, for like your vlogging notes too, and for you for your nursing. It's so I fun. Really I really like favorite of this. So it's, glittery. It's so glittery. <laughs> hand cream. Yeah. I've never tried this brand. Um, YouTube hands. <gasps> Look at her go. Period. <laughs> yes. It like pizza. Okay. Um, pizza. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is kind of a mess and I didn't really get to clean up today. I'm gonna leave that to tomorrow's me and I'm gonna take care of myself first today. I'm doing a little mask. It's from Caudalie. This is what is it called? Instant Detox Mask. I love doing this once a week. It's really good at pulling everything out from your pores and you can really see it work. I'll show you guys. It's kind of gross but all the pores. Later that night, I fell into the YouTube rabbit hole and just watched a bunch of random videos on the internet which is always a fun activity to do at like 12am or later. I started off by watching the Chanel show and then fell in love with the music so I tracked down the artists and watched some of their videos. I slept in the next morning and got brunch at Leo's Cafe. This has been one of my favorite places to get casual brunch or lunch. So, so good. Sold some of my unworn clothes at Crossroads which is a fun experience and then I visited this cafe that I've been wanting to go to. It's not a trendy cafe but something about that makes me love it even more. I'm wearing the same fit as a couple days ago but I promise it is not the same day. It is a couple days later. I'm getting ready to go out right now today. Oh, that's an alarm that I set for myself. That's like a wake up alarm like girl you need to get your stuff together and head out the door. So that's what I'll be doing. Today is day one of the shoot that I'm doing. Today is not actually the shoot. Today is the makeup test day. So they're gonna be trying on the makeup on me, make sure it looks good, everything's set. I don't know what to expect. That's the thing about working with new people. I'm so used to working with Nike and their team and I know exactly what I'm walking into when I walk into the studio, but this time around I have zero idea. So I'll have to just go there and see for myself. I'm just worried like what if I'm not qualified enough to do the dance part? I'm probably just overthinking. I'm gonna take this coffee I was drinking on the go. Your physiology works. Actually leads to... Mm. The campaign that I'm shooting is actually for Halloween. So I went in today. They were doing this crazy look on me with so much like colorful makeup face paint, gems. It was a lot of fun, but they were using face paint like around my eyes. And as I was taking off my makeup, the face paint stained my face, which is crazy because we did so much base layer. And then the face paint was used as like an eye makeup, but even that like seeped through all of the base makeup and stained like a heart shape around my eyes. And I don't know if you guys can still tell, but I was so shocked and worried. I think it looks a lot better now though. I'm one of those people where I have to pick a video before I start eating or I can't eat, which is a really bad habit. But let me do a little taste test of the tzedeche I made. I was a little skeptical because I've never made this before, but it was really easy. And it's supposed to be an easy meal because tzedeche means army stew. And it's when people in the army just threw in everything together and makes a yummy soup. My favorite thing that goes into army stew is probably spam. So I added a lot of that. Mm, it's kind of spicy. And the long awaited cucumber salad. I attempted to make this a few days ago and then I realized that I didn't have sesame oil. And that seemed pretty crucial because I love sesame oil. So I didn't get to make it until today because I went to the grocery store and picked up sesame oil. Pretty good. It's getting there. I think it will taste a lot better tomorrow, maybe. Hi guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. We're here tonight, and I'm super excited. This was like so last minute. It is Tuesday, and sleepover, <coughs> and my favorite was much fun. And then I booked a pretty last minute job for today, so I'm heading to that. I honestly have no idea what's going on. I don't know what I'm shooting for. I was kind of ambitious to dress up today, but of course the outfit that I picked 
ends up being a white t-shirt and jeans. But to be fair, I've been wanting to wear these new jeans, so... I guess this is still fun for me. Um, I have to leave. Okay, I like it. White t-shirt from Gloney and these are jeans from Unpublished. I'm so used to wearing low-waisted jeans that high-waisted feels so weird. But I forget how flattering high-waisted jeans are. She's due very soon. <laughs> yeah. Like, not now, now. I have an hour-long drive to my location. And yesterday was also a long drive to the shoot. I think I drove about 45 minutes. I kind of made the mistake of committing to a science podcast when I was driving yesterday. And it kind of drove me crazy because I love the Huberman Lab. I think it's so interesting. And the episode itself was very interesting. But I was tired, I was early in the morning, and it was all this like information overload in my head and my head was just, my head just had too many things to process. To drive, to take in the science information, to stay awake. So today I was like, I'm not going to listen to a podcast. And then I realized that my favorite YouTuber is doing a gender reveal in her podcast episode. So I have to listen to that, but hopefully this will be better because it will actually be entertainment for me. A girl! Oh, oh my god, that's that's such I knew a fun it. Idea. <laughs> Done with my shoe. I was heading to Air One to grab some lunch, but I decided to just do Chipotle instead, which is a very smart choice because this cost ten dollars, while the Air One probably would have costed me like twenty five. I make like a little taco. Later that night, I spent hours painting my point shoes to match my skin tone. I didn't need to spend hours, but I think I was almost procrastinating, so I'm not as nervous for the shoe, like I was distracting myself. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this longer vlog. I'm really excited to show you the campaign that I worked on when it's all live, and I'm also excited to visit Tokyo and Seoul because that means I might possibly run into some of you. I hope all is well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!